A dudes and dudettes, um, martial art and fitness uh, people. There was this wrestler I just watched. Um, he made a speech to one of his managers. Or, used to be his manager. Or one of the manager's enemies. Or whatever, you know. It says something like, you know, every night the reason why I do this. You know, my fans come up to me, my family comes up to me, my friends come up to me. They ask me, why do I do this? Because it's addictive. Well, the reason why I do it, I'm not going to spy his speech. But the reason why I do it on um, the things I do for my YouTube channel, things I do for my friends, things I do for my family, is that I learn to give. You know, my friendship to them, my friendship to that person or to that person that's been connected in my life and and I don't return I don't need anything in return as other as it just respect and honesty but sometimes out in the real world you never get respect you never get the honesty but sometimes respect is earned in a certain way. Honesty is where you get the respect from. Now, if you use those two terms of perspective to why people respect you and follow you and come to you for guidance, and for the answers is because they know you're full of wisdom. They know that you can be a great leader. And it may just need to be advice on anything. But the way I see it, the way I feel about that speech is to basically never give up at what you do. Because, you know, people could always say, hey man, you know, you don't need to train in karate every night. You know, what's the purpose? Or, hey man, you don't need to lift weights to get stronger every, every other night. You know, hey man, you don't need to do calisthenics, bodyweight exercises. You know, those type of people that tell you you don't need to do that, you know, you need to get them out of your life. Because all they're doing is trying to set you down. They're trying to set you down because, you know, they see the potential in you. They see the potential in you. But when you have people telling you you can't do it, why you need to do it, or ask you questions, why you do it and all that, and you tell them. Or a reason why. I do the things I do because it's addicting. You know, I never give up on what I do. Even if I'm having a bad day, um, I'm either reading, talking to people, trying to, you know, calm my stress, to calm, you know, calm the storm, you know, I'm always doing something. I'm not just sitting around. You know, man, I'm having a shitty day. You know, I'm feeling sorry for myself. Or whatever most people do, you know, lay in bed all day, cry, you know, let all the emotions out. Me, I don't do that. Me, I learn to deal with it. 
me, I don't respect anything in return. But for me to pat my own self on the back that I had another day in. That's right. That I had another day in. Most people don't realize what they have in front. Everybody's always trying to skip the reality. Everybody's always trying to skip the reality to not think, to not focus. You know, what their goal objective is on what they are there for. If you have a passion, that you want to do. You know, if you have a passion, what you want to do, you need to find it. And I guess I love martial arts. Yes, I love weightlifting. Yes, I love calisthenics. They are great, beneficial in every way and in every possible. They motivate you. That's the number one. They make you stay strong. They get you in the healthy ways of thinking. Make better choices in life. Um, but it also changes your perspective towards life itself. If you're sitting at home watching this video, I want you to reflect on some things that you've done in your life. I want you to reflect on some things, what you've done in your life. And I want you to embrace the moment. As Miyota Masashi would say, to let go of the past, to die of yesterday. That so you must think of the present. To be in total void. But what that means is. Let yesterday die. Let the past die. And move on. Be in the present. And be in the moment. And just live life. You can never control the outcome in life. It's like I said, if you're having a bad day, get up and do something. Instead of sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself. And, you know, get off that chair, get off that couch. Quit playing video games all day. Um, quit drinking 24-7 if you're doing that. Quit getting high, you know, quit smoking weed, cocaine, meth, wherever you're on, you know, quit it all. And just face reality. And things will be a whole lot better for you. Because like I said, you know, it's I'm not saying it's okay to drink, you know. Yeah, sometimes on the Fridays, you know, you go to the store, you know, hey, you know, you had a stressful week, you know, you want to go out, you want to have that beer for a week, you know, that's okay. And I want someone, but you make it a habit every time, then you've got a problem. You need to control those urges. You know, I might have one or two beers, maybe a night. And, but I don't want to sit there and drink, 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 drink. But I use the two beers to unwind. Because I'm always too hyper. I'm always too up and going all the time. My mind doesn't want to shut off. So I use the two beers to drink. At night, where I really shut my mind off, and 
And that's all I did. And I'm fine. And then I'll go to sleep. And, but, it's like I said, it's just, when, when you're expecting something in return, don't. Don't expect anything in return from anybody. You know, if they come to you for an answer and you're expecting them to do you a favor back in return for later on down the road, don't expect it. Because you know for a fact that all your friends, you know, if you go to them later on down the road and you... You message them, you say, hey man, I'm, you know, I'm needing help with advice, you know, on something, then, or, hey girl, you know, I'm needing something with advice, you know, if you want a female, female's opinion on it, then, you know, if a man's opinion on it, then, you know, they, you know they have your back, no matter what, but don't expect it all the time. Because usually most of the time, most people ain't always going to be there for you. you got to figure out things on your own. That's the reason why things I do with the martial arts, the things I do with the weightlifting, things I do with the motivation talk video, the things I do, you know, in my daily life is to help people out. Get them on the right track. You know, make better decisions on what they do. You know, alcohol isn't the greatest decision that I have. But, you know, I don't let it control me. I just drink one or two. So, now if I'm out with friends, yeah, I'll drink more than that. But, if I'm here, if I'm here by myself, I don't let it control me. I just have one or two, and I'm good. But, because if I drink by myself, this is how I see it. If I drink by myself, I do stupid things. And to me, I don't want to do stupid things. I want to do smart things. Because if I sit here and drink all night, you know, throughout the evening or wherever, you know, feel sorry for myself, that's not getting anything done. So if I live by myself at night, and then, that means I'm doing myself good. So, basically, basically, um, martial arts people out there on YouTube, they always say, you know, drinking is bad for you. Drinking, you know, that's the worst thing a martial artist could do. Well, most you see most of these famous fighters, you know, they'll say the exact same things. But then after they have a fight, what do they do when after they have a fight? They go party. They go and have drinks. They go and smoke a cigarette to ease their stress. Well, to me, that's you know, yeah, that may be okay for them, but when you see people looking up to him as an idol or someone they look up to as a hero or something like that, you know, when they say if that person would see them in, in real life. Well, I would say, bro, what are you doing? And if they, if they would turn, what do you think I'm doing? I'm partying. And I'd be like, well, you said in one of your videos that, oh, you don't smoke, you don't drink. And 
in one of your interviews, and here you are doing it. And it's like, here you are lying to the public. And that's how, how I would go up to that person and be like, yo, you know, and just call them out on it. And make them regret on what they say. But in that, am I a bully for doing that? No. It's just, I just don't like want people to live, don't live up to their word. But, you know, when people say they don't live up to their word, I mean, it's okay to drink it once in a while. It's okay to have fun once in a while. Just don't make it a habit. Um, but you can't make things that are good. I have, like working out, staying positive, uh, quit stressing so much, uh, quit worrying so much. That's the only thing I can say. But, like I said, don't expect anything back once you give. Because if you expect things, somebody to hold your hand, the whole entire time trying to baby you or whatever you need to learn to figure things out on your own that's how you make it that's how a Roman is that's how a samurai is and that's what Masashi was going by was to learn to be a man to what, what's motivating you to strive for what you believe in and that's what he's going by. So, if you believe in the Warriors Code, follow. Follow it to what you truly believe. And never give up at the things you do because life is too short. Because you never know when your last day is. So, if you happen to get yourself up out of bed, Pat yourself on the back and say, I can do this. And everything will be alright. If y'all don't know me, I am Seven Dollar Four, Martial Art Fitness. Please hit the like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And so like I said, you know, I do martial arts. I've also been messing around with my lightsaber that I ordered on Star Wars off of Amazon for Star Wars um, but I also train in like Sai Bow Nunchuck Double Nunchuck um, Katana I have not learned a straight sword that's going to be probably my next weapon I'm going to try to learn um, but other than that um, I try to stay traditional when it comes to um, martial arts. Um, I don't try to add anything new to it. Um, but other than that, when I'm training like striking techniques, I might add a little flashy styles and stuff like that into it. But I say normally, normal tradition into what I do because that's what Masashi would want. Um, because Masashi, Miyoto Masashi, um, he never did train anything flashy. And he said all those flashy tricks get you nowhere. And which is true. And and that's how I see. It. Now if you if you just stay traditional, stay true to your roots, stay true to your art, then Then, if you just use it for self-defense, whatever it may be, that, to me, is martial art. And it is addicting. And that's the reason why I don't stop. And that's the reason why I don't quit because somebody tells me I need to quit because I'm getting over. So, 
And even though there might not be a purpose into why I do it, but I do it because it's therapy. It's motivation. It's for me to reach higher, higher heights than what I'm capable of. And it helps me get me through my, out my day on my activities that I need to do. Let's say around the house. Anything you do around your house is martial arts. Anything you do out in the real world is martial arts. You know, using a pen, you know, to write with, you know, it's a form of martial art. Just in a different way. Because a pen, like, you know, like, Miyoto Minasashi said, a pen is like a sword. A pen is mightier than a sword. If you learn how to use a pen really well, then you can use a sword. So, there you have it. Send me down for signing off with this motivation video. And I hope to see you in the next video. And like I said, to never ever respect any, except, expect anything from other people. Because sometimes you may never ever get it when you so, there you have it. motivation of the day. Train hard, train smart, hit that bell notification, hit all on the bell, hit the subscribe, leave a comment down below, go to my other videos, either both sides, go up to the corner or in the middle, wherever the subscribe face is, please hit the subscribe and get more videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.